Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another sports presentation of the American Broadcasting Company. Yes, once again, it's Wrestling from Rainbow in the Windy City of Chicago. Clark and Lawrence on the north side. Wayne Griffin here at ringside, hoping you're all set to enjoy with us another great period of wrestling. Well, a great preliminary bout is underway right now here at Rainbow Arena. And I think we're going to have time to bring you the closing action before the main. Before we get into that, this message on film, here is another special message. Yes, sir. Inside step over toll. Don Arnold on Edmund Francis. The bout is in its second fall. Arnold owns the first. Francis has none. Getting ready to sit out this evening for a little two weeks vacation down at the Gulf Hills Country Club at Ocean Springs, Mississippi. And while I'm gone next week, uh, I'll be back on the 29th. Our good friend, Mr. Bob A. Murphy, whom many of you here on The Breakfast Club out of Chicago each morning will be up here doing a little bit of chattering and identifying some of the holes for you. So, hope you'll be on hand with Bob next week and be back with us two weeks from tonight. Double gold. Jimmy Carter wins the unanimous decision tonight in the boxing here in Chicago. Francis is on hurting. Now it's a question of whether we're hurting that much or whether we're playing possum. Let's uh, kind of watch this and see. tell about these guys. Watch this development. Arm lock on Francis by Arnold. Turning it into a hammer lock on Francis. Still favoring, favoring his left leg. Hamilton is reversed, of course. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Arner, Francis didn't get that one by for very long. It was a couple seconds, and the retraction was put forward. the little man and the little man wasn't there. <laughs> oh no. Adding insult to injury, he slapped it for him. <laughs> That's all. Mr. Francis, baby getting it. Boy, his knuckles are red like raw hamburger right now. He really clipped himself. I understand a uh, niece of one of our ABC engineers is up here tonight, Madeline Drain, nine years old of 3007 North Francisco Avenue. Oh, it's her birthday today. Smitty is one of our technical directors down at ABC Television in the Opera Building here in Chicago. Shake ads or aren't we? All right, says Arnold. I'll shake, but let's make it clean from now on in. Arnold has one fall. Francis has none. Double 
hold on Lark. Now none of this forward blows and none of it off the ropes, says Ryder Dejarovic. Don Arnold says, all right, that's enough. The session has come to an end. We'll now get down to fighting. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, boys. Hey, no gouging. Gouging on the part of Francis to Arnold. Again. Got it out, says Zarevich. Ooh, hair drags. Arnold just said, body block. Look out now. Again, body blocks. Ooh, and Arnold got it that time. Look out! Whoa! Well, I was there just a minute ago, but I don't there now, thank goodness. Brother, did he come out of that ring? Nine, ten, look out! Coming again. Ooh, body block, Arnold gets back into the ring. Going in. Now stay over there, will you? Oh, look out! Oh, boy, it's coming our way. Whoa, I don't want any part of that. Whammy! Whammy, buddy, flat. One, two, three. Arnold, jump him out. Jump him out. That does it. Whoa, an airplane spin and a flying body press. Don Arnold, two straight balls over Edmund Francis. Here's the official time on that one coming up. Woo. Oh, what a night. Here's Al. An airplane spin and body slam in eight minutes and 12 seconds. He went into the second ball and the match. John Arnold. Eight minutes and seven seconds on that with an airplane spin and a body press. Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wrestling from Rainbow, Clark and Lawrence in Chicago. Back here again after you've heard a bit of the big life that's going on these last October days with this big political uh, runoff coming on for November 4th. Next Tuesday is the big day. Right now, we're in the midst of an Australian tag team match here at Rainbow. The teams are Robert Roche and Bobby Ford on one side against Tommy O'Toole and Ali Pasha on the other. You can recognize Ali Pasha in there. Just had to break a hold on uh, Roche. There have been no falls so far. This is a 60 minute two out of three fall match. Ali Pasha and Roche in the ring. Ali Pasha is using his whiskers now. He uses those, oh no, Roche, you're going to the wrong corner, my boy. That's, that's unneutral territory. Headlock, woo, Roche coming back. Lion Mare put on by Ali Pasha to Roche again. Oh, he's got one of those cobra holes on there now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. Blue big plan. Lolly Pasha. He gave up. I was just waiting for the official decision on that. I thought there was a count on there for a while. But uh, the way uh, Roche was waving his hands around, I was almost certain that he was saying, I give up, I give up. And he did. He's still got a crinkly neck down here. There's Roche. Bobby Ford's over with him. Sam Miller. 
Here's the official announcement on it. They're going to get the name of that hold here, and uh, here's Ed coming up to tell us all about it and give us the time. The winner of the first fall by a sleeper hold in 21 minutes and 51 seconds in the team of O'Toole and Pesha. 21 minutes and 51 seconds on that, and a sleeper hold, and the first ball goes to the team of Tommy O'Toole and Ali Pasha. All underway here with our second fall. Tommy O'Toole and Bobby Ford are in the ring. There's a hammer lock put on by Bobby Ford. He takes him down. A lot of speed on it. Hammer lock. On O'Toole by Bobby Ford. One fall in the Australian tag match. into the ropes over there, but he can't get at him. Hey, hey, hey. More hair pulling here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mr. O'Toole getting his own hair pulled. <laughs> well, it isn't quite illegal, but uh, a lot of things aren't legal the way these guys do it. Only Pasha climbing in the ring, but he isn't supposed to do. One fall with Charlie Pasha and Tommy O'Toole hold. Just got it, as a matter of Ford putting pressure on that hammerlock. Bobby Ford and Tommy O'Toole at it here in the middle of the ring. O'Toole on top there now, and Sam Miller on top of everything, checking to see if there's some stranglehold going on underneath that mess. Hey. He isn't exercising that hand for fun. the guy that's doing the suffering on all this. Hey, now we can see you when you turn around to that angle. Two, three. Count of three was on Tommy O'Toole for a stranglehold. Finally caught him at it. Lion Mayer, Bobby Ford receiving. Every time I see Bobby Ford get a flying mare put on him, I always think about a year ago when Bobby's neck was so very seriously injured, they didn't know whether or not he'd be able to wrestle again, but he's come back bigger and better than ever and is doing a wonderful job in the ring right now. 
That is the case in many instances. If you break your arm or something, it'll get stronger than it was in the first place. And evidently, that's happened to Mr. Ford's neck because he's been able to take a lot of punishment with it. Count of foul is on Tommy O'Toole again against Ford. Look out now. That's better. Stay in the middle of the ring. That's what we like. O'Toole with the same strategy and tactics against Ford. 30 minutes. All right, 30. break it up, says Miller. Three. One thing Miller does, he jumps right in the middle of him. He won't let Miller get at him until Ford's on his feet. There's a fly in there. Minutes. Same process again, but it didn't work. Ford clipped him on the head, and now he's got that hammer lock on him. Really putting it on. Oh, he's making hamburger out of that upper arm. Tag is made. In comes Bobby Roche. Bobby Ford going out. The Bobbies are changing hands here. The hammer lock is still on Tommy O'Toole. tool again for rough house tactics. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Pasha, you are in this act right now. One, two. Oh, Ollie Pasha's tag is effective and he's in. But he doesn't like it and he's in right now. Fly in there by Rouché. R-O-U-C-H-E is the way he spells that name. Robert Rouché. Drop kick. Ali Pasha receiving. Again. Look out. Get that box already. He's coming our way. One, two, three. And there's the ball that evens it all up. Flying there is first. Then a couple of drop kicks. And finally a body press. And Mr. Ali Pasha gets a little bit of his own medicine here at Rainbow. Tommy O'Toole is right down here talking to him. Well, that's one fall apiece for these guys. Here comes Ed to give us the official time on that one. First one was 21-something. I don't know what the time is on that. We'll get it right away. Here's the announcement on it. The winners in 6 minutes and 46 seconds by a drop kick. John Rucho and Bobby Ford. This is the deciding fall. Tommy O'Toole and Bobby Roche in there. One fall apiece in this Australian tag team match. Hip toss. Hangs onto the headlock. Tommy O'Toole in command right now. Still a headlock in effect. Well, that's Tommy O'Toole at the headlock on Robert Roche, and this is the deciding factor going on right now with that fall apiece in this Australian tag team match, Rainbow Arena in Chicago. We have a bunch of kids from uh, Berwyn, Illinois here tonight, a bunch of the sometimes uh, fun club. Uh, Frank Pivak and John Cermak, the Legion Post, have brought them in. A bunch of Cub Scouts from the pack 3489. Ten of their den mothers up here enjoying it. Dick Hackenberg, of course, is 
responsible for a lot of these kids being up here all the time. On the ropes over here. There's a lot of difference in weight between these two guys, but this uh, Roche, although he's very light, has certainly been able to hold his own here. The team of O'Toole and Ali Fasha are definite heavyweights against Gordon Roche. There's the tag made. O'Toole going out. Ali Fasha coming in. O'Toole stepping out. John Norton, Mr. Joe Fisher of ABC Television in Chicago here in attendance this evening. There's one of those Persian holes again that Ali Pasha comes up with. Very close to a possible strangle hole. There's that, uh, that uh, python hole again. Part of it, at least. It isn't actually a full python hole. It's just twisting a man's arm around, letting him choke himself. Say, we're going to be over in Cleveland on November uh, 13th. That's a week from Thursday night. Oh, a couple weeks from Thursday night, as a matter of fact. We'll uh, seeing a lot of you folks over there at Cleveland. And uh, mention that because Bobby Ford, uh, one of the boys you're seeing now, also Tommy O'Toole and Ali Pasha, some of the guys you're seeing right now, are going to be over there that evening. Also, uh, going to see Nell Stewart and Ida Mae Martinez, a couple of the best-known gal wrestlers in the business today. That's all in Cleveland on Thursday night, November 13th. And I'll be there, over there in person, to see all you folks. Sponsored uh, charity show, sponsored by the Lakewood Elks Lodge. Ali Pasha having trouble with the referee. Oh, no. Little whiskers going into the opponent. Now, Roche. The tag was officially made there. That's the reason Ford is in there. And Ali, uh, Ali Pasho was actually working. Harold <laughs> Tool is getting a little bit of it from Ford. Pasha was working on Roche and didn't know. A fast drop kick from Bobby Ford. And Pasha says, I had enough. Let me out of here getting so you don't even know you're wrestling these days. He's finally getting out of the ring. <laughs> Sends Ali Pasha back at it, all right. Tools back in again against Bobby Ford now with a headlock on there. I want to remind you that servicemen and service women in uniform are, of course, admitted free here at Rainbow any Wednesday night, so you just come on up here and walk through the gates and see a good wrestling show, two and a half hour show here every Wednesday night. Still on. Look out now. Take it easy. Bobby Ford receiving from Tommy O'Toole. Look out. Boy, the way he's pulling that tag is made. You're not in. He said the tag was not official. Hold on to the rope when you make a tag. All right, now it's okay. Ali Pasha coming in. O'Toole going out. They're working on Ford back and forth here. They're working on Ford's neck. Boy, and how they are working on it. 40 minutes. That's a form of sleeper hole that he's got on there. Ooh. Now tag Tommy O'Toole in there. Ford is still in there for his team. Ford is getting groggy. 
not feeling healthy at all. Body slam. Oh no! Into the wire of the ropes for Ford. Ooh, and is he got a two, three. That's all. That's all. Well, it was one of those back and forth, back and forth deals where uh, Ford and uh, or rather Ali Pasha and O'Toole kept uh, changing back and forth and Ford couldn't get out of that corner. So they'll lose the match here. Ford really weak at the end. Finally had to give things up. Ali Pasha holding his hands up here in victory. There's O'Toole walking across the stage. And here's the final announcement on our Australian the tag team match. Of the second fall and winner of the match in seven minutes and ten seconds, Tommy O'Toole and Ali Pasha. The final decision is the match goes to Tommy O'Toole and Ali Pasha. Well, that kind of takes care of things for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Rainbow Arena in Chicago. There's the closing bell. Yes, sir, you've just heard it. But uh, we'll be meeting again on film from Rainbow Arena. Until then, Wayne Griffin says good night. The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in Chicago, and you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.